I get paid to exist and I'm literally no different than you. So you should get paid to exist too. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how you can get paid to exist. We're gonna go over my VPE framework and then I'm gonna basically, I'm gonna essentially tell you how you can actually apply it so you can begin to go get paid to exist. It's literally 2024 or even later, depending on when you watching the video, who knows if it's like 2025, 2026, et cetera. So we're in the era of personal brand. So my, one of my sales reps was basically telling me how it was pretty easy to close one of the sales calls. So just a little bit of context. So I don't do my credit repair sales calls because I have my team that does it. So one of my reps was able to close someone easily for $2,500. They were ready to go because they hopped on a call and he was basically saying that he already knows everything I'm about based off of my YouTube videos, you know, the personal branding and all that. And he was just ready to go. And he said he's willing to pay extra to get the result if, if need be, right? But he was ready. He was just ready to go like that. So that's literally an example of getting paid to exist because of all the, all the efforts and everything that I put in beforehand. Somebody could be like, okay, you got, you know, paid to exist. Like it's, it's just coming easy in that sense, but you got to think about the time and effort and commitment I put into not only the YouTube channel, but uh, my, you know, my, my personal brand. So I say that to say, if you want to get paid to exist, you need to follow the VPE framework. So what is a V? V is value. So this is where we got to be real. Some of you may or may not, you might not be as valuable as you think you are right now, right? And value is something that you, you got to constantly work on. It's not that you just, it's not that you just get stagnant. Okay, I have the value I have and that's it, right? So value is very, very important because you got to look at what your value is to the marketplace. Why am I valuable? I know how to structure, you know, a credit report to go get the funding, but not only that, I know how to get these negative items removed in a very predictable way, right? If need be, you know, we'll go through uh, the litigation process. I say that to say, it doesn't have to be credit, but you have to have some type of value. What's your unique value that makes you different from somebody else, right? There's a lot of people that do credit, but can everybody articulate themselves and break down the consumer loss the way that I do? Are they putting thousands of YouTube videos online the same way that I do? Probably not, right? And there's probably something that distinguishes you from those around you. So if you have a credit repair slash business funding business, you got to just kind of figure out what is that unique value that you possess, right? And we're going to talk about how to actually be more practical with it so that y'all can begin working on uh, getting paid to exist like as soon as today, tomorrow, whatever you want to call it. It's going to take time. It's not no guarantee or nothing. But uh, that's the V. So the V is your value, right? P is people. So for a long time, I had to really come to terms with uh, the P because I'm, for people that don't know, I'm, I'm very like introverted. I just like doing what I need to do. I just like chilling. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just trying to be out there just networking all day and being around people and you know, that kind of thing. But at the end of the day, your, willing, your willingness to impact people has to supersede your introvertedness or whatever. And that's what I had to come to terms with, right? I'm on a mission to help fund $1 billion of small business owners. I can't just go through people I know. I have to go through people through networks. I have to go through people through attracting people on social media, you know, my personal brand, all that. People got more people got to know what you do if you want to be able to grow and get paid to like exist, get paid to breathe. You know what I'm saying? Like literally as I'm recording this video right now, I got my team doing credit repair calls, sales calls, right? And they're operating off of my brand. They're operating off of the work that I already did, right? And that's literally me getting paid to exist so I could focus on high income skills, higher income ROI activities like doing these YouTube videos so that you can know, like, and trust me, you know? You should be doing the same thing as me, right? So people is a P. You need people, right? It, I don't care if you're introverted or whatever, right? You could be chilling like me. Like you just be on your, your, your purpose, your grind, all that, but you need people right? It don't, it don't matter what it is, but you need people. So that is the P. We're going to tell you how to apply it in a little bit. 
All right, so value, people, E for effort. E for effort. You have to, you, ha you just have to be disciplined with doing what you need to do. And then also, you gotta, it goes back to, uh, you, got, you gotta be 1% better every day. So you have to continuously improve every single day. It could be 1%, but you have to improve all the time. You can't just stay the same. If you stay the same in an ever-changing market, as a market is always changing, you're going to get lost, right? So I need y'all to realize, like, if you pay attention to these three principles and you apply it, you're going to be on your way to getting paid to exist. Whether you work a scamming ass nine to five or not, I think you should definitely get paid to exist because I've been screaming about personal brands for a minute. You know, I'm going to continuously work on mine as well. And I've seen the benefits of just getting paid to exist, you know, and I don't know. It might take a while for this video to actually um, do what it does. But I know that every time I'm getting one percent better every day, whether it's through, you know, uploading new YouTube videos or investing in myself or just investing time into, you know, meeting more people. I know that I'm doing what I need to do to be able to continue to get paid to exist. Right. Part of my whole thing about just going so hard the way I go so hard. If you don't know, I used to work a nine to five. I worked as a chemical engineer. I don't want to go back to no damn scamming ass nine to five, right? It's like, y'all got to think about how it is. It's like, I was working a nine to five before. I got a taste of what it is outside that nine to five, working less and making more. Why would I want to go back to that, right? So that urge of not wanting to go back to that nine to five is what drives me every day, right? And I'm on a mission too. You got to define like what your mission is. If you have a valuable mission, people are going to be attracted to you. I say we're on a mission to fund $1 billion to small business owners. I've had people get on calls and be like, you know, they love, they love uh, Michael's mission. I've had people come on and say, oh, they love the way I spit the consumer loss because I'm valuable. You got to focus on that value. So value, people, effort. That's what's going to help you get paid to exist. Literally breathing. You're going to go to sleep and you're going to get paid just like that, right? Digital products, all that, right? This is, how, this is how I get paid to exist. This is how you can get paid to exist. I'm no different than you. I'm probably just out working. If you could do 10% of what I'm doing, you're going to get, get paid to exist, right? So keep that in mind. How can you actually apply the VPE framework? So value. How do you apply being more valuable? You increase your skills. You invest in yourself, right? Y'all always hear me saying invest in yourself. That could be time. That could be money. If you're broke, you have to invest more time into your, your uh, value, into your personal brand, all that. But there's no excuse not to be investing in yourself, right? And if you're grown, it gets to a point we got we to gotta take accountability, right? Because if you don't have money to invest in yourself as an adult, I know homeless people in LA, they collect in like 2K a week. Just working daily, you know what I'm saying? Just begging. So if, if a homeless person could be collecting all these racks per week and you're saying that you don't have no money to invest in yourself, you should be ashamed as, as someone that's like grown, you know? But I say that to say just take accountability, you know, all jokes aside, just take accountability. And if you are broke, broke is like a, it's, it's temporary. You know, we can help people that are broke. People that are poor, passing over opportunities repeatedly, it's a mindset. It's a sickness. We can't help poor people. But people that are broke, we can help them because it's just a temporary thing. So if you're broke, you got to invest more time into your value, right? If you got some money to be able to invest, so invest that money because you can buy time. What do I mean by that? Me personally, I got money, right? So even when I was working a nine to five, I, I, I had money to, you know, invest, right? I wasn't making as much as I'm making now, but I still have money to invest. That's why if you heard me speak about my story, oh, I had a specific mentor, I invested the $3,500, you know, that helped me get to the next level. So someone that's like me, if you're like me watching this, you work like that high paying nine to five, maybe you work in tech, maybe you work in, you know, whatever, maybe you have a business and you make some money. Don't be scared to invest money into yourself, Right? So investing money into yourself will help with your personal branding. And when I say invest money, it doesn't have to just be mentors and courses. It could literally just be your personal brand, like how you look, 
It could be clothes for your personal brand. I don't know. It could be literally just anything to help you move forward. But invest in your knowledge too at the same time. Don't be scared to invest with someone that has what you want already. If you see yourself right now, you're working a nine to five, whether it's high paying or not, that you don't like, you owe it to yourself to get around someone like me that's not working a nine to five if you're in the same field as me. If you're doing Airbnb, I've told y'all many times, go get that Airbnb mentor. Don't be cheap, right? Cheap stands for constantly having excuses about prosperity. I coined that term, constantly having excuses about prosperity. So if you're cheap, you're not going to go far in life. So just keep that in mind. Cheap, cheap and poor people, they don't go far in life. If you're broke, we can help broke people. It's just temporary. You just need to work a little bit harder, invest more time. If you have some money, invest some money as well. That's how you increase your value. And we can help you with that. We have um, a community called Cat Credit University, right? Cat Credit University. At the time I'm recording, it's only $39 a month. If you're watching my videos and you know the vibe that I give, you know I don't have no, I don't have nothing to give to someone that doesn't have $39 to invest in themselves. $39 a month. That's less than, what is that? That's less than like $3 a day. That's less than $2 a day. You know what I'm saying? So if you want like a practical thing to invest in yourself, you can get in our community as like-minded individuals. And that brings me to uh, the P, people, how to actually apply that. So again, you can get in our community, get around like-minded individuals. We got people in there that's networking with each other. I created a community of like-minded individuals that would not have known each other if it wasn't for me creating that community. That's why I love the Cat Credit University community. But let's say you broke as hell or you're just cheap, right? You don't got no money to, you got zero dollars to invest in yourself. Like I said, you got to invest more time. So when it comes to people, you're increasing your value, right? So you're learning, you know, the consumer laws, you're learning how to fix stuff off of credit. Go to free events. You can look up on Eventbrite. Events are free. Technically, if you're driving somewhere, that's going to cost money, right? Because gas. This is why, like, this is why it's not good to be cheap, you know? But I'm just giving the example. Like, let's say you just broke as hell, right? You don't got nothing to invest in yourself at all. Go to free events. You can go to online events, right? Like, let's, if, if we don't want to involve money. But... You got to uh, build for your internet. You know, everything involves money at some point. But let's say you're super, super cheap. The cheapest, of, like the cheapest, right? Let's say you're just stingy. Go to free events, like I said. You can go to free events. Uh, you can join business societies or something like that. Like go find something in your local area. And then uh, literally just the way that I do, attracting people is just literally posting valuable videos, valuable of what you're doing. And then again, if you're like me, you do have some money, I'm going to be transparent. We're able to scale the people factor better because I can run ads, right? We were constantly running ads. I've ran some ads that have helped me connect with people that have allowed me to go make thousands upon thousands of dollars, right? So this is why people are so important because you don't know who knows who. It might not be that person that you're attracting in the ad. It might be someone that they know. This is why more people need to know what you do, right? You see why money is so important and why it's good to invest in yourself? Investing in yourself could be literally running ads, right? A lot of times people just think when I'm saying invest in yourself, it's me saying, oh, just invest in my program or something. It's not even about that. It's about making that investment in you so you can move forward. So that's how you apply people. We talk about effort. Literally click on my channel right now. You're going to see there's over 2,000 videos. You got to get 1% better every day. You have to get 1% better every day. How do you get 1% better every day? Read books. Get in communities like Cat Credit University, right? Um, and just, just get 1% better every day. Like just do something all the time. You got to get better. The market is always changing. The market is very competitive. So you have to get better all the time. So that's how you apply the VPE framework. If you apply it, you stay patient, you stay disciplined, you will be getting paid to exist. That's not a guarantee, but the only guarantee in life is that we all go on, we all got our expiration date. But what do you want to be remembered for? With that being said, y'all have a blessed one.